Bamboo Lab introduces a new security update for their 3D printers that gets rolled out on January 23rd for their X1 series and is planned for their other printers too. Disclaimer. The information in this video relies on currently available sources and might be subject to change or prove wrong in future. Security. Sounds great, right? Wrong. Bamboo Lab's new authorization control system isn't just about protecting your printer. It's a cloud-based system that requires authentication before some features and functionalities work. In short, your printer's abilities are partly tied to your internet connection and their servers. Sounds harmless, right? Well, not so fast. This system means Bamboo Lab has significant control over your machine, even after you've paid for it. If their servers go down or if they decide to stop supporting your printer, you could lose access to key features. This could also mean that third-party software loses access to those key features because the current way of interacting with the Bamboo ecosystem through a direct network API access is being discontinued and replaced with the new URL-based Bamboo Connect. With the new update, features like start and stop prints, control temperatures and movement, remote video access and AMS settings and calibration, to name a few, are limited to Bamboo Lab's official applications. You are now only able to monitor basic status updates like for example print progress. In short, as of now you for example can't use Orca Slicer and other open source software to fully control your 3D printer anymore and have to rely on Bamboo's ecosystem. But it could very well be that that is subject to change again. And at last, let's not forget about privacy. The printers allegedly will now also need to authenticate with the Bamboo Connect even if used in LAN mode. Every time your printer connects to their servers, data is exchanged. What data? How is it used? I can't answer that. I don't know if they plan to lock down their printers completely and force you into using proprietary stuff only, or if they for example want insights in all your print projects to train an AI slicer, or whatever other intent you can come up with. But this could be possible routes they could take if they want to. And users all over the world are concerned about this. What I do know is that I didn't pay for this and neither did you. Now go check out how I made a voice controlled 3D printer because open source allows stuff like this. Bye!